You're born enough. You know. We need to go to the hospital, okay? We need to go to the hospital. Okay? No. I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm fine. It's just a small cold. A small cold? <sighs> Have you taken your medications? <sighs> so you need to eat now, okay? Yeah. Brought food. So you need to eat now. Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry. If you don't eat, how will you take your medication? I don't want to eat. Okay. <coughs> you have to pick one. So either you eat or we go to the hospital. So you have to pick one. I'm tired of going to the hospital. It's not like I have a house there. Besides, you are a doctor. Well, you know I'm a doctor. Yes. You even give me the chance to even treat you here. You're making things complicated for me. <coughs> you, see? you see what I'm saying? Take water. Take a little. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> you have to eat something, okay? Right. It's it's the last one. It's hello. Amen. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to call you earlier. I just got home and I decided to call you the really after speaking to her. Amen. Are you okay? Richie, I... You what? Talk to me. Are you fine? Sister is sick, I don't need to get on Situation I really need to go sort out for her. I'm your sister and I am sick. And you're going after MM. Look, look, look. 
you need to understand what is happening right now, okay? <coughs> take it easy, take it easy. Your sickness is not that deep. You're just catching cold, it's just fever. So let me just quickly go and see what is happening to her. Before you know it, I'm back. She only calls you when she needs your help. It's okay. Please. It's okay. <coughs> Don't worry. Before you know it, I'm back. It's not like I'm going forever. Please, let me just go and see what is happening to Imem and I will come back. All you just need to help me and do is to eat your food, make sure you take your drugs. Look, I'm going to call Priye. Priye is just close by to come and stay with you, okay? You don't even care about me. What will I do now that you're leaving? Olichi, I beg you, don't go this road. All you need to do is to make sure your healer is close to you and your drugs, okay? That's all you need to do. Make sure you keep your healer close to you and this is, these are your drugs. And make sure you eat your food before I, I come back. Just be eating. I beg you. I beg you, my dear. Okay? Before you know it, I'm back. Cham, you don't have to go. Please. I have to go. <coughs> All you need to do for me is to make sure you eat your food. I beg of you, just make sure you take your medications. Look, just close your eyes. Count from one to 500. Before you get to 500 and open your eyes, I am back. I promise you that. Okay? Oluchi, I beg. I really need to go now, okay? Love you. See you soon. What is happening there? No. What did you do? How did you find yourself in a hotel with a man? Talk to me. I'm listening to you. Talk to me, you man. What's that? Walk? was my colleague. We had a meeting here and... And... He tried... He tried to force himself on you. And you... You hit him? Right. yourself. to take advantage of you and you defended yourself. No, it will all be over. No. No. I beg of you. All you did was to defend yourself. Self-defense. No. 
<laughs> self defense manslaughter accident whatever it is no one is going to believe me no one is going to believe me and my career as a journalist is going to end my dear I don't want look you stopping being a journalist is not the end of the world all you need is freedom right now the future is bright you definitely pick up I assure you that. Somebody. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what is it? Okay. Don't say anything. What, what, what should I do? What should I do? Go in here. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Where? Please, I would like to report myself. to do you need to go i'll sort this out myself okay they must not see you here no i can't leave you alone look even if i'm not a doctor i know how to dispose this body but you you can't because you don't even have the nerves to hold it together because i'll catch you and everything will be exposed and you will die so you need to go now I, I, would, I would like to report a, a murder case. Oh. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll send you the address right now. Yes. Were you ever thought when you were young that whatever you do would have a reflection? Evil betrayal so plain in your your mind is reeking of the sea. If I did the things you do, I wonder how I would cope. How do you see? Oh, you don't know. Come, I will come for you. 
Karma will come for you. Karma will come for you. You don't know. You don't know. Do you know what I did to save you? Do you know what I did to protect you, Kayode Ajibade? Do you know what I just did to the man I cherished more than my life itself? Richard has always been there for me since we were kids. Please, please. Answer. You're under arrest. Mr. Man, you're under arrest. You're not obliged to say anything, but whatever you say, we will turn that as evidence against you in the court of law. Hands up. Up your phone, Richard. She's left us, man. Pick your phone. Where are you, man? Where are you? Where are you? It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. What is it again? I don't think I'm getting enough for the hurt I inflicted on him. But I've paid you more than you requested. I want more. You want more money? I don't, I'll give you I money. I don't want money. I don't want money. What do you want? I want you. You. I beg your pardon? I want to be your wife, Coyote. Have you gone crazy? Maybe. If that's the only way I can guarantee my safety. Wait, wait, you think I'm going to... What makes you think like that? I don't trust you. 
What is the assurance that you're not going to pin this old thing on me when it backfires? I was the one who killed it. But I was doing it for you. So we are getting married. Just in case you want to act funny. Just so you know. If I'm going down, I'm pulling you down with me. Come, let's go inside. This is not what you discuss. Outside like this. Come, come, let's go inside. Come, 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 come. No, I don't. I can be mom with this. This tastes quite delicious. Thanks, Dad. Mm. Are you okay? I barely touched your food. Are you sick? Oh. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I can ask the procedure to come over. Dad, I said I'm fine. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. There's something I want to discuss with you. Okay. See, I think I'm growing older and lonely. With the person of your mom, I've been quite lonely here. In fact, it's been just you and I all this while. Are you tired of me already? No, how can you say that? You're my friend, my bestie, my body for life. So what are you saying? I want to remarry. Look, I'm growing older and lonely. You will soon get married and you move away with your husband and then leave me alone in this big house to die of loneliness all by myself. I need a company. Say something. Who is she? You already know her. Look, uh, I know that you and Emmett don't get along. But she's a nice person, you know. I just give her an opportunity to prove to you that she's a nice person. Dad, why have we been having this conversation? It's not like anything I say matters to you. My opinion doesn't count. But it does. It does. I mean, for me to do this, I need your support. Well, since you asked, then I'll give my honest opinion. I don't like her. Neither do I want any woman taking my mother's place. Especially her. I'm done eating. Sarah? not be picking my calls. Well, I've been busy. Busy? Yes. Busy doing what exactly? When we have a wedding to plan in less than a week. Hey, ma'am. You don't expect us to plan and execute a wedding within a week, do you? It's possible. Very possible. Besides, I told you to leave everything to me. I can handle it. It's just a small cut wedding. And maybe like, um, a reception where my friends can come and witness that I am your wife. You don't get it, do you? It can't happen now. I need time. I mean, I have a lot of pending projects and meetings on my desk demanding my urgent attention. Hmm. This is about Tara, right? She doesn't want you to marry me. Look, she's not the reason for... for, for Regardless for, uh, of whatever 
your excuse is to cancel this wedding. Just remember our deal. Because I will not hesitate to go to the police and tell them the entire truth. That Richard didn't kill that man. You need to marry me. That's part of our deal. I know. I have not forgotten. I, I, I just need some time. A month or a couple of weeks. That's all. Who is this Richard? And what is this deal they are talking about? Hello, Jake. What's up? Um, you once told me you had a friend who is a senior police officer, right? Yeah. You think you can get some information for me? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, about someone. Yeah, I, um, I think he's in a police nest or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll get more information about it. All right. All right, thank you. Yes, hello. Um, good morning. I'm Omatara. Good morning. Sorry, have we met before? Ah, uh, no. But I would like to discuss something with you. Okay, what is it? It's about your friend, Richard. Remind me what you said your name was again. Are you some kind of reporter, journalist? No. I'm not from the media. So how do you know about Richie and what do you want? How I knew him doesn't matter, but I have information that can prove his innocence. How did you find me? I know someone who knows someone. I got details. You guys are friends, aren't you? You mean to tell me that M.M. staged this whole thing? Yes. But that's not possible. She wasn't even at the crime scene. Richard didn't mention her in his statement. Her fingerprints were not even found anywhere close to the crime scene. So how is that possible? I don't know how she did it, but I can feel it. She and my dad have something to do with it. And she's threatening my dad into marrying her because of it. Feeling. You can feel it. So all this is based on your feeling? Listen. Look, if you have a problem with MM, I suggest you find some other means to stop the wedding. But please do not involve Richard. He has enough on his plate. Please. I heard them. You heard what? I heard them talking about it on the night it happened. What's going on down there? What I've done. Do you know what I've done to save you? To protect you, Kayode Ajibade? 
The man I cherish the most. I can't believe I did that to him. Richard was my childhood friend. He's always there for me. But because of you, I did it. Did it. It's okay. What is MM doing here at this time? And what are they talking about? Is that all you got? It's something. It's something. They, they were talking. How is that something? How? She admitted killing him and pinning it on your friend. Listen, it took me a great difficulty to find you. If you're not going to do anything with this information I just give you, I heard he has a sister. Please link me with her. I believe she can help her brother. And this is not about me not wanting her to marry my dad. This is about me trying to save an innocent man's life. She's dead. Who? Richard's sister. She died on that same night. I was too late. I couldn't get to her fast enough at the hospital. While I was on my way, she... Please stay with me. Would you please stay with me, okay? <sighs> Where is Chava? Where is Richie? Aluchi. Aluchi, please just stay with me, okay? Please. Please. Where is Chava? Where is Richie? Richie is going to be back soon, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. Richie is going to be back soon. Please. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Nothing is going to happen to you, Oluchi. Okay? Your brother is a doctor. He won't allow anything to happen to you. Okay? But he promised. He promised. He promised that I should count. One to five hundred. I'm scared. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Aluchi. Aluchi, everything is going to be fine. Please. Please, just be strong. Your brother is going to be here, I promise. He's going to be dead. Richie is going to be there. Everything is going to be fine. Just just be strong. We're almost there, okay? We're almost there. Aluchi, just hold on. We're almost there. Just hold on. Aluchi, everything is going to be fine. I promise Richie is going to be there. Just, Aluchi, hold on. We're almost there. Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. Nothing is going to happen to you. You're going to be fine. Which is going to be back soon, okay? Aluchi! Aluchi, wait, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just hold on. Just hold on. We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. She was like a younger sister to me. We all grew up in the same neighborhood, including MM. You don't believe me, do you? You don't believe M.M. is capable of doing something like that? Look, it's hard. I've known M.M. I don't even know how long I've known M.M. Yes, I know she can be ambitious and selfish. But this, this is just ridiculous. And why would she want to do this to Richard? Richard has done so much for her. Like you said, she's ambitious and also greedy. I'm going to need more than just eavesdropping. Look, if MM is responsible, I promise I will do everything in my power to vindicate him. But until then, I can't. 
Okay. I'll keep in touch. Hi, Dad. Where are you coming from? I went to see a friend. Hmm. Well, MM and I are going to court tomorrow. I want you to come along. Well, at least take up Mom's picture before bringing another woman into this house. You think I'm disrespecting your mom? Yes, you are! You disrespected her when she was alive, and you're doing it again! Look, whatever issues I had with your mom was not my fault. She was the one that was also paranoid. She was... She was crazy, right? You tagged her crazy. You sent her to the mental asylum. Not even for once did you consider what that was going to do to me. You tagged my mom mad. She was mad. Oh, she was. She was madly in love with you. That she allowed herself be manipulated by you. Hey, watch your words, lady. I'm still your father. Oh, well, sorry. I thought we were having a conversation. Hello? Hey Jake, any news? <sighs> I met up with him, but he thinks I'm lying. He wants more information. I can't go and see Richard in prison. I'm not his lawyer or a relative. I bet if they even allow me. I know. But... <sighs> okay, okay. Okay. Please do whatever you can, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Upstairs, the one by the left. I'll ask the driver to bring in your, your luggage. Why? Are we not husband and wife? Look, Emma, you know that this is just a compromise. <sighs> what is there to compromise? Mm -hmm. Don't you love me anymore? I mean, we've been dating, Key. Desperate knowing that I was seeing Richard. You wanted me then. So what changed? Should have kept to our initial agreement. I saved your life, Coyote. I saved you from public disgrace. Do you know the information I got? If it gets out there, do you know what will happen to your business? your political career, your reputation. 
You should be grateful to me, you know. Hi, Tara. Aww. I see you couldn't make it to the wedding, but no offense taken, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I'm sure we'll get to see each other every day. That's fine. I'll, I'll get used to that. I'm sure even the dead need some peace and quiet. She'll be better off in my room. Meet me in the bedroom. Our bedroom. Celebrating. Is this our anniversary? No. My birthday? Mm, no. <laughs> Babe, just come. Okay, sit. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, but what do I owe this? There you go. Open it. Uh, you're not happy? Oh, I, I'm, I'm happy, but... What? <laughs> what is what? But you know it's bound to happen. It's been two years. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm happy. It's just that... Um... It's just that what? Mm? I, I, I'm not... I wasn't ready for this. Babe, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired. Moreover, you're not getting any younger. We need children around. Yes, but we have Tara. No, you have Tara. She doesn't regard me as a mother. Why should I regard her as my child? Oh, what well, about it? Yes, Tara, you're, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Um, Janice? Yes. Come, come join us. We're celebrating the news of the new member joining this family soon. I don't dine with the devil. Excuse me? You heard me. And who are you calling the devil? Good night, Dad. Hey! Just don't you worry, just... Just let her go. I'm used to this already. So... Let's not allow her to spoil the smoke. Let's just enjoy. I'm, I'm sorry about the way she spoke to you. It's fine, babe. It's fine. Okay. This dish. How was work today? 
Tara? Is there anything you need? Come on, Tara. It's been what now? Two years? I think it's time for you to come down from your high horse and start seeing me as a friend instead of an enemy. For you, enemy is too lenient a word to address you. You are the devil himself, a good digger, a social climber who will do anything to get whatever she wants. But no, thank you. I am not interested in being your friend. But you seem to be forgetting something. That I am your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a girl who is same age as me. You might be my father's wife, but you can never be my mother. Do you hear me? Mm. I know your type. Oh, you do? Girls like you reek of desperation and greed. You are nothing but a hungry, stinking leech. I know you have a lot of dark secrets in your cupboard and you're feeling too comfortable because you think it's been buried. Well, don't. Because one day, the metaphoric cupboard will burst open in your face. <gasps> oh my God. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking. See, 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 I have good bones all, all over my body. Now you listen to me, you overfed rat. You might not like me, but the fact still remains that I am your stepmother and your father's wife. And trust me, that ain't changing anytime soon. Fine, I, I understand that you are insecure about your inheritance and all. Trust me, if I wear your shoes, I would do the same, huh? But guess what? My son will be the one to inherit everything. So you can rave and rant all you want like a madwoman. That's the least you could do. <laughs> Dreamer! Continue dreaming. Everyone knows the company is mine. My inheritance, my parents' legacy. My father will never hand it to a gold digger like you. Oh, wow. Are you sure? No, are you really, really sure about that? But you know that I can make your dad do whatever it is I want him to do, right? Huh? You know, right? You are wicked and manipulative. I know. I know. That's why you love me. <laughs> you know I am wicked and that's why you love me. I love you too, baby. Mwah. <laughs> Inheritance my foot. <laughs> Come on, collect it. Waiting, waiting if he give us, not seeing. No time when they give us better money for this place. Tell you, see the kind of work we do now. The kind of work we do now. Let's be like, see, best of all, you suffer for this one. He get the year one, he get the year one for this one. But don't get that year. You know, you remember, you remember when that wife come, come, come office, what did she give us? She, she. Oh, boy, that woman just did this stuff. She still did die. Ah. Serious. She's too stingy. What is she telling you? Cutting. Oh boy. Cutting. Cutting. I don't see this country says you work no deal. If not, ah. At least now people don't go far. What do you do? Children, you the shop. This one, no they do. Tell you. Not just. If it is just, just he really tired me. Tired, tired me. How would you plan? We need to, we need to plan. How would you make this thing work for us? We need to plan up. The salary is small. We do, ah, even the new tell you now, you do too small, sir. Well, well, sir. I just now leave me the pillar. I don't believe you. I come with rest. You do, I don't need to do this. Just to move that. 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 Guys, stand up. 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 Stand up.
Do you think I'm playing? Stand up now, me go. Go back to work. Go back to work. Study while they were out oh of community God. service. They allegedly conspired and attacked no, no, no. the prison no. officers. They are presumed to still be wearing prison uniforms. No. They are all very dangerous. If seen, contact your nearest police station or call 0803 502 0111. No. Remember, these are all very dangerous. But you cannot be out, no? No, no, no. It is out. My goodness. Where could this be? Hello? Did you hear the news? Is it true? Has he escaped? I don't know. My source called me, then I checked social media. But if this is true, I'm sure he's going to call you. I am so scared. Listen, you don't have to be scared. We've been trying to get to the root of this for two years now. Maybe this is our chance. Maybe he will open up. But first of all, I need to find some evidence. Where? My father's room. I don't know, I have this strong urge that they are hiding something. I don't know why I haven't thought about it for, for a while now. Okay. Just make sure you reach out to me. Okay. What exactly are you talking about? Huh? That's what that's what I'm asking. What do you mean that he's out of prison? Yes, I I I I I, I just heard it on the radio. He's in hiding. I'm scared. What are we going to do? All right, listen. Um, I'll call my friends in. Hello. 
Can you can you put me across to the signature, please? All right, great. Hello? Hello? Yes. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. Did you call anyone? Yes, it's confirmed. He's on the run. How is that even possible? Well, apparently they were brought out for community service as usual, but a few of them attacked the officer in charge of them and they escaped. Hey, so what are we going to do? What if he's on his way coming to us? I don't think so. You know, he doesn't know these things were planned. And he still believes an accident and that he's taking the fall for you. We can't just sit down and do nothing. We won't. I've called the senator already, and he's going to call the commissioner of police. Look, they are as worried, if not more worried than I am. The documents implicate them. Look, I'm just a courier in all this. And I thought... Oh, look, what you have is just a tiny part of the documents. What you have implicates only me. I have more. Well, you know... Richard doesn't know this document exists or that he was in prison for it. So tell me, what other information do you have about the senators? You can trust me. Says someone who blackmailed me to Marina. Oh, come on, babe. That was in the past. Now I am your wife and I'm carrying your child. Mm. All right, but first things first, we need to find out where Richard, yes. As they're searching, we should be searching at the same time. But where do you think Richard would go to at a time like this? What do you think would be his first port of call? Are you going to kill him? Coyote. Now, listen very carefully. You and I know that Richard is a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. So, we're going to take care of this thing as quietly and as fast as possible. By the time the police find his body, his dead body, I, he's a fugitive, by the way. Anything could have happened to him. No. Yeah, come in. Come in. Hey. Oh. Hi. What's up? Any new information? <sighs> Has he reached out? No. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> I 
I couldn't find anything. My dad walked in. But then I did find something. What? A safe box. What do you think they're hiding? I overheard them talking about some implicating documents. They also mentioned the senator. Do you think Richard knows their secret? I, I don't know, I don't know. I couldn't understand most of the things they talked about. But then there is something. What? My dad. What? What is it? My dad wants to kill him. What? They want to get to him before the police does. I just hope he reach out to us first. What's the matter? We can't kill him. I mean, killing Richie wasn't part of the deal. Oh. Well, this is a new deal and it has to be done. I mean, you that's used to changing deals at the last hour, this shouldn't come to you as a shock. Why don't you just allow the police handle it, huh? No, because that's too risky. That means for the rest of our lives, we're going to be looking over our shoulders, wondering whether this matter will resurrect or not. Your mind is reeking of the sea. The sea. If I did the things you do, I wonder how I would cope. How do you sleep? But you don't know. Come, I will come for you. Hey, Blackie. I'm gonna your boys together. I have an assignment for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me, Coyote. I will not allow you to hurt that guy. Never. He has been through a lot for something he didn't do. Isn't that enough? Why are you so cruel? So what do you want me to do? Just let the police handle it. Let them do their job. That's it. Mosquito chop me tired. Please, can I have a favor from you? Please, I need a favor from you guys. Oga? Oh, well. Wait on, sir. Sir, please, you don't need to run, okay? Please, I beg you. You don't need to run. I'm not here to harm you, okay? Uh, okay. What do you want, uh, uh, Please, can you just help me with your phone? I just want to make a minute call, please. Madman, you want me to call? Who, who, who madman know when you want to call? I'm not mad. I ah. beg you. I just uh, want to call my friend so that he'll come and pick me here, please. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Joseph, you don't fuck up. Joseph, you don't fuck up. So I stand like this, they talk to madman. Ah, I'm mean mad, I'm mean mad. No, no problem, I'm mean fuck up. No problem. Uh, please, boss, I beg you. I beg you, I'm not mad. 
Just help me with your phone. Uh, Maybe like that, I know a uh, uh, less privilege. I'll give you this one. But I swear, eh, if I give you this phone, are you wrong? If I don't bust your head, I tell you now, let's take Bro, I'm not mad. You won't call, I'll be, you won't argue. I'm sorry. Wait, oh, you, you're funny, oh. This is the way you wear blue, blue like you, like Ubala blue. I'm saying, no, be thief. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, part with this, do anyhow. You go see anyhow. Huh? The phone is ringing, actually. Uh, uh, do quick. Do quick, do quick, do quick, do quick. Hello? Hello? Rie. Richie? Yes, I'm the one. Richie, where are you? I don't even know where I am, but I think I'm somewhere around Mararaba. Are you okay? Okay, so how can you get me? Because it, this is not my phone and I don't know. Just go to the popular market. Is it close to where you are? I think it's close by. Do, do, do. I want to go out now. Do, do. Just stay right there. I am coming. I'm coming right now. Right now, bro. Just stay right there. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, eh? I know I'll move the tango, eh? But, but wait to no vex. You say you need a man. Why are you can't like this now? Okay. I am not mad. As I said earlier, thank you very much for the call, okay? Because it's a long story. I can't stand here and start explaining. It doesn't explaining matter, it doesn't matter. I don't have Nigeria, but no, they look like that, like for you. Let me do you anyhow. Okada! <laughs> bro! Thank you, Bri. No, 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 it's okay. I'm so sorry for not coming sooner, bro. It's alright. Can we just go, bro? Yes, yes. Can we just go? Yes. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who is it? Come here. How is he? It's okay. You'll be out soon. Hope no one was following you. No, no one. I was very careful. Who is this? What? No, I haven't... I haven't seen or heard from him. 
Okay, sir. I'll do exactly that, sir. Thank you. What's that? It's just some officer I gave my statement to two years ago. You gave a statement? Yeah, this the same night the whole thing happened. Richard asked me to go be with his sister because she was sick. So when she died, when she left us, I kept calling. I left so many messages so they arrested me and they thought I was one of his accomplices. By then I didn't know he was arrested. That is crazy. I know. He's just calling to make sure that everything is... He thinks I'm... Richard! It's okay. She's with us. It's fine, Richard. Hey, I'm with her. Bri, I need to talk to you. I'll wait outside. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Richard, it is okay. She's safe. She's a friend. She's on our side. You think bringing her to this place is safe for us? They own this place. They? Yes, it's one of their guest house. They? Belongs to her father, yes. And who is her father? Everything is fine. Just trust me. Just go inside, get some, get some rests. I'll get some food for you to eat. Just relax, man. Bro, trust me. Trust me, man. Everything is fine. Please. Come on. Don't worry. Just go. Just go. Just go. If you think too much, bro. Everything is fine. I promise. Thank you so much for allowing us to use your space, okay? Come on, it's the least I can do. My dad hardly comes in, so you don't have to worry. Richard, there's a lot we need to talk to you about. But first, I think you need to let go of her hand. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to know everything that happened in the burial, okay? What did she tell you? Did she tell you anything to tell me? I'm, I'm so curious to know what happened. Hey, buddy. She wasn't in any pain, okay? Priya, really? I wish I died the day they heard that news. I wish I just followed her. Oluchi. He's in a happier place. We need to focus on the future. Okay? She would want you to clear this whole mess and get your life together. So be strong. Get yourself together. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate you. <sighs> but what next? What's wrong? What is it, Priye? It's about M.M. Uh, M.M. What about M.M.? Priye, I've missed M.M. I was wondering why she didn't even come to see me at the prison. Maybe she was scared or something. Priye. You need to calm down, Richie. You need to calm down. I know how much you love M.M. I know. I know it's going to be very hard for you to believe what I'm about to tell you. But trust me, everything I'm about to tell you is the truth. Okay. I'm all ears. <sighs> M.M. is married to my father. Excuse me! What are you saying? 
A man should be your age, mate. And if I'm not mistaken, your father should be like 60 to 70 years old by now. Why? And how will she even get married to such an old man for God's sake? Without even telling me. She did it for power. She did it for wealth. God. What are you saying? She framed you. She set you up. She made you fall for a murder you didn't even commit to protect my father and his political career. Excuse me. What nonsense political career are you talking about? What nonsense political association are you talking about? I was there. It wouldn't have been staged. Richie, what she's saying is the truth. MM is married to her father. I need to see MM right now. I won't advise that. Why? Why? MM and my father are planning to kill you. When did I start? That I have to report to you everywhere I go to. Have you found Richie? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? What have you done to him? Madam, we have done nothing to him because we haven't found him yet. But something tells me that he's going to try and get in touch with you. And when he does that, please make sure you let me know. About. I don't. Uh, how do you... Please, I, I, I just want to see with you one more time. Just please. Come on now, Priye. You are the only one he has outside the world. Of course. All thanks to you, Emma. What do you mean? I know that you asked him to come see you in room 102. I know. I'm aware. You know how I know? Because he asked me to stay with his sister, Oluchi, on that same night because she was sick. I know that he abandoned his sister just to come and see you. And after all that, what did you do? What, what do you mean? Not once have you gone to see him in prison. Not once, M.M. Come on, Priye. I'm sorry. Please, I just want to see Richie just one more time. As you can see, I'm really busy. Please, I need to leave. Step out of the way. Please, 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 I'm begging you, please. And then, kindly step away from my way.
Nice one. Nice one, Black. Yeah. Hello. Nice one. That was good. That was good, Black. Now you start following the guy. Listen, leave M.M. and start following the guy. He's our quickest and fastest way to reach out. Exactly. And remember, I want this done as quietly and as fast as possible. Do you read me? Great. All right. Let's go. Please, 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 please. Drive. Why is this moment I'm turning now? Drive straight. Go. Anyone. No, I'm not a tie. And that's the reason why you blackmail me, right? Because you know I care about you. You know I'll do everything and anything for you. No, I didn't set you up. I, I didn't call the police. Remember you asked me to leave the hotel room. Who we'll called the police then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who called the police. Stop pretending. Because you and I are the only one that knew where I was that day. So tell me who called the police then. I regretted everything that happened that night. I didn't know what came over me. I didn't know. I didn't want to call the police. I was supposed to. Oh, forced by your so-called husband, right? The same person that wants to kill me? No, 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 no. Nobody's going to kill you. I will not let that happen. I promise you, I won't let any harm come close to you. Please. So tell me, what really happened that day in room 102? What happened? Start talking! Huh? Yeah, come in. Hi. Hi. Is it? Yeah, go turn on the traffic. Ah, uh, that's fine. Uh, G, careful. Yes, please. Okay. Mm. 
So, now let's get to business. <laughs> Can I get the document? Are these all the documents? Yes. So can I? I mean, I want more money. What do you mean you want more money? But I already paid you as we discussed. Yes, I know you've paid me. But I'm pretty sure the people that have their name on this list wouldn't want their dirty secrets and evil deeds to be out in public. And as such, they'll pay any money just to make sure this doesn't go out. Silas, why are you being greedy all of a sudden? You have so many secrets and evidence to sell to make more money. Why can't you leave this uh, the way we discussed? No, Amen. In all my career, this is the biggest I've stumbled on. And I won't let this slide. Why are you doing this? Just put the code through, tell them my price has changed, and they'll increase the money and send it to you. I'll transfer the money to you tomorrow. Hey Amen. I'm not a rookie. You know. I don't sell on credit. When you have the money tomorrow, call me and I'll bring documents for you. Okay? Silas. Silas. Silas, please wake up. Wake up. I didn't mean to hurt you, please. I didn't mean to hurt you, please. Silas, don't do this to me. Silas! Silas, please. Oh my God. Hello? Saki, I. I just. Killed someone. I just killed him. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I just killed him. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I said I just killed someone. There's someone lying on the floor dead. What am I going to do? The document is here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Okay, okay, so what are we going to do?
stai zica, non ti chiedo No, 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 no. Non ci pensi più la figlia come io, mi pensi. Deci am luat să renunț, ce am renunț, ce am pris cu mine, pe de să cer online on the floor. Am lost, am confused, I don't know what to do. E filmat mie, e făcut mai am mine. Nu, n-am scăr. Amin, ea ea ți-o scuze, am pris. Amin, nu, I'll send you the address. Ok, thank you. Ok, thank you. Everything I had, my sister, my career, my life in general, just to come and save you. <laughs> so you were lying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your sister only Chibli swinging me. I'm so sorry. I know, I know you're selfish. But I never knew the selfishness has gotten to this level. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you and your so-called husband are going to be dead. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Good. Good. How do you feel? I'm sorry to hear that, bro. You need to put yourself together. Be strong. Meet us at the guest house. I'll call a motor to come as well. All right, bro. Hello? Omotaro? Yeah, meet us at the guest house. He has something. Yeah, he says he does. Okay, see you there soon. Don't, don't make me reach 
Wrong answer. What? And you left him there? How can you be so stupid? Huh? You were supposed to be on his trail at all times. Okay, how are you sure he hasn't gone to go and meet Richard at this time? Shut up, shut up, shut up! I never told you to stop following him. I only said shake him up a little to see if he can talk. You're you just a bunch of nincompoops. I, I pay you to come and give me excuses? Silly! I wonder why he's not back up till now. He's probably on his way. Ah, oh, he'll soon be here. The last time. Sam. So. Uh-huh. Pia told me that's why your sister calls you. You're her champion. I failed her. I'm sure she understands and has forgiven you. I know you still miss her, and that's fine. You don't have to forget or stop missing her. Mm. I like the name Champion, that suits you. Do you mind if I call you that? No, but on one condition. Condition. Who is that? to me looking for you. Goons? Not police? I don't know. They were wearing some masks. I need to wait. I think I know who they are. Uh, who? They are probably my father's goons. What? Sorry. Sorry. Hope you got everything I asked for. Yes, doctor. <laughs> I'm sure you've forgotten how that sounds like. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> I miss being in the hospital. Yeah. 
Sure especially taking care of my patients. But for now, you are one of my patients. After all of this is over, I'm sure we can work on getting your license back. Are you sure this will work? Definitely. They revoked it because they thought you committed the crime all along. But knowing you were innocent, you should be more than willing to reverse it. Babe, look. I'll be very happy if this happened, okay? Trust me, I'll be the most happiest person on earth. Okay, come here. Hey, 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 hey. You still have a patient here. <sighs> that patient will be all right, okay? For now, you have to hold on. I see some things have been happening in my absence, huh? Hmm? Thank you for the clear visual update. By the way, I know her father. Just so you know. Priye, you see no evil, you see no evil. Okay? Uh, yeah. But well, you can feel the evil. Okay. <laughs> Cheer you up. <sighs> Hello, oh, 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 officer. <clears throat> good, good, good evening, officer. No, sir, I haven't heard anything from him yet. O officer, I, I told you once I hear anything, any information, I'll let you know. Yeah, hello. Okay, yeah. Please, let the senator know that I'm on my way. Yes, yes. Yes, I had uh, sent in some detailed information <laughs> regarding um, the situation on ground. But it has become imperative that I come around and see him. Yes, please. Okay. Look for my dad, yeah. My dad. But he just went out. Didn't you see him? Oh, I don't know. I thought he was in the bedroom. Come for you. Come. 
father was into dead shit. But I never knew he could do something this day. So it's because of this, he had sold me out. Richard, I hope you're ready to take your pound of flesh. And I hope you will transfer that voice note of M.M. somewhere safe. Yes. fully well that your father will go down. All his assets will be seized by the DSS. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let me ask. Why? For my mother. I'm doing this for my mother. Tara, are you sure? Yes. Evil betrayal so plain in your heart. Priya, can you make the call now? Is that the police? My name is Richard. Richard Abunabo. I want to turn myself in. I wonder how I would call. How do you sleep? But you don't know. Come, I will come for you. Hello? Yeah. The lawyer is on his way. Yes, yes. Meet us at the station. Okay. Okay, okay. Hello? What? You don't say! I sit down? Thank you. Honey, what is it? Richard turned himself in. And somehow the police have got their hands on the document. And they're on their way here. How? I don't know. Oh, wait. I saw Tara coming out of our room the other day. Oh, I didn't even know she knew about the document. In that case, we have to get out of here. 
We have to leave here. Go and get the bare necessities, right? I'll get our passport. Oh, right. Were you ever thought when you were young? Hello. Whatever you do, get the guest house ready for me now. Evil betrayal so plain in your heart. Your mind is reeking of the seat. If I did the things you do, I wonder how I would cope. How do you sleep? Oh, you don't know. Karma will come for you. Tara! Tara, why? How can you do this to me? Honey, what's going on? How are you putting to leave? You don't know. I don't know. Honey, uh, hold up now. Rest. If I did the things you do, I wonder how I would cope. How do you sleep? Oh, you don't know. Karma will come for you. Karma uh, will come for you. Karma uh, will come for you. Uh, will come for you. you don't know. Again, man. Woo! They finally let you out. Nothing, bro. There's nothing. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry about your father. It's okay. At least I have you now. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah.
on to And your deeds are catching up with you How you have a heart, you don't have a conscience Your mind is wreaking up the sea, the sea. If I did